really exciting day today. We're all here for the very first Brick Workshop, which is tremendous. Start of a three-year programme where we're bringing communities together to help share with them some of the tools about how you can actually make these projects that they all care about so much happen. Locality is the national network of 500 community enterprises across the country. Uh, so organisations taking on land and buildings and adopting enterprise strategies to create community anchor organisations. I'm working with Portland Works. Um, I'm actually an independent social enterprise advisor. We got together and created a community benefit society and we raised shares to buy the building. Um, we raised um, over £250,000 in shares and we got a loan from the Architectural Heritage Fund to actually fund the purchase. I'm here uh, because we're wanting to do a new build that would prolong the life of our Grade 1 listed village church and bring the community to be able to use a fish pond field which is adjacent to it as a community centre. And coming here, listening to professionals, how it's done, uh, is very, it's very interesting because I've never experienced anything like this in my, in my life before. Well, I came here to, uh, to find out more about what the BRIC programme is trying to do, um, but also some of the, the topics that we're here today, particularly around the private sector's involvement, um, community shares, financing models, uh, how to make the, the best commercial use of the asset. I'm coordinating the BRIC Partnership Brokers Pilot, and that's uh, a piece of work to work with four groups to help them to develop partnerships between community and the private sector. Lots of different kinds of partnerships. Some of them will be partnerships with owners of buildings. Some will be partnerships with developers who've got a lot of experience um, and can help them in that way. Others might be partnerships that bring in finance into the, to the project. So it's all about helping them with kind of uh, what we call dating, mating, translating and relating. So how they date, how they come together and meet each other in the first place. The mating bit is the kind of detailed legal agreements. The translating is understanding each other better. And then the relating is when things go wrong. How do you mediate your way out of those situations? The session this afternoon is going to be a perspective from a developer and a perspective from the community. Uh, and between us, we're going to try and explain the difficulties that can arise when trying to create those partnerships. Well, we're pleased to, to have been selected as one of the uh, pilot projects for the BRIC programme. A number of reasons for that. One in particular is, is the kudos and practical support of Princess Regeneration Trust is, is invaluable. It demonstrates that we're not just a bunch of local people coming together to try to make something happen. We have professional support, we have that expertise behind us, and we have um, you know, the prop that will allow us to develop the projects and to engage properly with the community and with funders. was a chance to come and just listen and some of the subjects that have been discussed today um, particularly with regards to community shares are issues that we have considered before and we've made a decision on but when you're three years down the line so I think do did we make that right decision back then when we were just novices coming together now is a good time to stop and evaluate Great privilege to uh, be able to host the first ever PRT brick workshop here today um, and to meet so many different groups from all over the country who are all involved in similar projects um, and for us all to be able to learn from each other. 
Um, our project is, is to try and, um, and do up this enormous building. Uh, at the moment we don't have any funding at all, we're entirely voluntary, but we have managed to uh, complete an options appraisal. We're just waiting for delivery of the final report on that. Uh, and then hoping with the, with the help of PRT to take that forward and apply for funding to do up our building. So some of the things that have been useful for me today have been hearing about community shares, which I didn't know about before. Um, hearing about community asset transfer, which is something I'm going to go away and, and find out more about. Um, and also um, to hear from some of the organisations who I didn't really know about before, like Locality and the Ethical Property Foundation. Um, which has made me realise that there are a lot of resources out there which we aren't actually tapping into at the moment. We've had an amazing day today. We've had so much enthusiasm and commitment from the community groups that have been here today. And I really get the feeling that people have enjoyed it, that they've learned things, they've taken them away. Uh, and a number of people are saying to me that they have absolutely taken on board some of the new thoughts around community shares and, and working with the private sector, about how to get their project to work. And it's going to make a real difference to what they do when they get back, which is fantastic. It's exactly what we set out to do.